Well, it seems like the only time we get together is about once a year, and it's Labor Day weekend coming up, which means Wellsville's Founders Day. Uh, Colin, you've kind of been spearheading this. Tell us what we can expect this year. Well, you can expect a lot of fun like we've had in the past few years, or always really. Uh, we've got plenty of, of uh, activities going on. Um, they've already, some of them started. We've been working on the uh, tennis tournament. The softball tournament's been going on. Uh, but coming up right quick, uh, we've got uh, the rodeo. We've got the dance on Saturday night. Uh, we've got a patriotic meeting on Sunday here back with us at the Stake Center this year. And, uh, and then Monday, a full day of activities. And uh, you know, Founders Day has become such a tradition for a lot of families, not just in Wellsville, but pretty much all over the state. I mean, I remember coming up here as a kid, and I'm I was raised down in Twilla. So it really is kind of a fun, family-friendly event where you just come relax and enjoy what Wellsville is all about. You bet. In fact, we have a lot of families around who have their family reunions at this time. People come back. They, they just like that small town feel that's still here in Wellsville and all those activities that we do. So we've got uh, a lot of different terms. We've got the fun run we've talked about, the dance, uh, a full day. You bet. In fact, it starts about uh, 6 in the morning. You'll, the fun run will get started, but there's a good breakfast by the firemen here. We appreciate them doing that every year. That's always fun. That gets us ready to go. And then, of course, the parade. Uh, we uh, start that at 10 o'clock, and that's always a great parade. In fact, Definitely. this year, um, that we've got about a hundred entries wow. so it ought to be a good parade and, and of course we try to keep the advertising down there's a little in there but a lot of good floats for hometown floats and uh, marching bands it's just a good old parade that's great and that uh, I can guarantee a lot of people at home are thinking I would really like to see a good parade full of floats because they're getting to be just all advertisements it's like watching one big commercial but the Wellsville Founders Day Parade has always been good family floats you bet, you bet, and we enjoy that. A lot of, a lot of kids around here involved in that. And uh, um, uh, so we got uh, kid games going on. We've got the beef dinner, uh, music in the park. So there's something really for everybody. A lot of booths. There's plenty to do here. So, you know, come on out and join. There you go. We're going to move on talk to Kurt. And again, one of the traditions is the Wellsville Stampede. Tell us what we got this year. Well, this year uh, it will be our first, it's our second annual Wellsville Stampede, a semi-pro rodeo, and this year we're affiliated with the Rocky Mountain Rodeo Association, and it'll start at 7 o'clock Friday and Saturday night. Uh, it got the entries in here yesterday. We got 177 entries, so it'll be uh, about twice the size of, as the rodeo was last year. Wow. And, uh, of course, we'll start off with our race off the gravel pit and into the arena and it, it should be a great event seven o'clock and where is it going to be held at up at the rodeo grounds up by the gravel pit and uh, we got a nice new facility up there and uh, yeah we'll invite everybody out should be a great event and again this is just another thing you can plan on a family friendly event bring out the family watch some great rodeo you bet and then uh, the semi pro rodeo friday and saturday and then we can't forget the little kid rodeo on monday at 6 30 and uh, that's for uh, that's the mount sterling stampede so rodeos friday saturday and monday and watching those kids are pretty impressive oh yeah they're they're brave, <laughs> they're brave. <laughs> well i want to move over here to mayor bailey uh one of the things wellsville founders day is known for is its sham battle Kind of give us the history of the sham battle. Well, the sham battle, back in 1860, the militia used to meet down around Mandan, and they would practice, uh, you know, with Indian raids. And so they'd divide up, and some would play cowboys, and some would be the Indians or settlers, and, and then uh, they would just, uh, you know, practice. And we think that's the beginning of the sham battle was way back in 1860. Wow. And then... Uh, <clears throat> The first record we have of the sham battle being held was in 1911. And so since 1911, just about every year we've had the sham battle. And the sham battle is really a great part of our celebration. You know, we're not trying to make fun of anyone. We're just trying to have a good time and trying to enact, you know, what the settlers did sure. way back in 1860. It really is a piece of history, and it's if you haven't seen a sham battle, it's a lot of fun to watch. There's a lot of great horsemanship going on, guns going off, houses burning down, and it's all great fun. <laughs> it is. You know, our house, we have a little uh, log cabin we burn every year, and for 20 years, Colin Cooper built this house out of wood. And so there's a lot of history in the little house that burns, and, 
and just a lot of good fun that the kids really enjoy. Definitely. So make sure you see that sham battle. Cole and I just want to come back to you. If people want to find out more information about what's going on, whether it be the fun run or the, the dinners or any of the events, where can they go to find that stuff out? You know, uh, we have a website here at wellsvillecity.com and they can uh, link on to a copy of all of the events that we have. That's probably the best way. Uh, they can come into the Wellsville City office. There's a bulletin board at the post office with all these events. There you go. And if someone has Labor Day plans out of town, what would you tell them to get them to stick around for Wellsville's Founder Day? Well, it's going to be a lot more fun than what you've got planned. There, there you go. <laughs> Have a staycation. Stay right here and spread the word. If you've got relatives coming up to the Valley over Labor Day weekend, come out to Wellsville for the Founders Day. I guarantee it's going to be so much fun. Guys, I appreciate you talking with me. Thank you. Thank you.